Hello from Thailand, everybody. Hello, church family. We really wish we could be there with you right now. But as it is, we're still so grateful that we can have this opportunity to talk to you about a man that we really loved. Papa Cool was one of the most generous, kind, supportive people I have ever met. He was like a father to us when we were in paradise. My family has actually known Papa Cool for a very long time. He was my 8th grade teacher, but not only was he my 8th grade teacher, he was also the 8th grade teacher for all three of my older siblings, and my oldest brother is 7 years ahead of me, so Papa Cool has been a fixture at our graduation parties for a very long time. One of the first things I remember about Papa Cool, and I think this was uh, the first thing he said to me, was Jamie went up to introduce herself, or to, to say hello after so many years when we were in uh, Paradise Church. And she went up to him and said, hey, you taught me eighth grade. And obviously he remembered her. And then he turned to me and he said, you're making a great decision in marrying Jamie. He turned out to be right, of course, as he did about a lot of things. He was also so big hearted. If I could mm. describe him in one word, it would be generous. And also loving, I guess that's two. But he just was. He had this huge, warm presence. Whenever he walked into a room, you knew he was there. He had that big, booming, lovely, kind voice. And you always felt his presence in such a cheerful way. Papa Cool and Eunice were just such a kind couple. I remember how they supported us. Uh, they threw a wedding reception for us and the young adults at their house. They would come visit us at our... Uh, young adult Sabbath school, they just supported us in so many different ways. They would have us house sit. I remember that we would walk their little dog, Jakey, around their neighborhood uh, when they would be taking trips down to see family in Southern California or wherever. I, I will confess to eating way too many of the Big Franks in their pantry, and Jamie still gives me a hard time about that. Although I did join in on that eating, it's true. One of my favorite mm -hmm. memories of Papa Cool is... Shortly after we became reacquainted, he said to me, didn't you used to play the cello? And I hadn't oh, yeah. seen him since eighth grade, and he still remembered. So I said, well, yes, I did, but I hadn't played the cello in six or seven years. And he said to me, well, where is it? And I said, well, the cello is in my parents' house in Glendale, which is about an eight-hour drive south. It is. So the next time he drove south, he drove over to my parents' house, and he picked up my cello, and then he schlepped that huge monster eight hours north just to give it to me. And that's just the kind of man he was. Supportive and kind and generous at every step. And we will so, so greatly miss him, and we want to pay forward the kind of kindness that he showed to us, to people that we meet, because we are just inspired by the kindness and, and the big-heartedness that he and Eunice show to us when we were in paradise. In fact, I think the thing I appreciated the most about Papa Cool was how he would tell you he loved you. And he did it all the time. He didn't wait till the end. He took every opportunity. And when he said it, he really meant it. And you really felt it. We're going to miss you, Papa Cool. You have touched our lives, and we are so grateful to have shared time with you and to have learned from you. On a lighter note, you also made the best French fries in the world. <laughs> That's true. Honeymoon quality. They definitely were. They definitely, he definitely lived up to the reputation and were enjoyed by young adults and kids at Glendale Academy and by us up in paradise. We will miss you. We will keep you, Eunice, and church family in our thoughts and prayers going forward. We love you. We love you. Bye. Bye.